Hello, welcome to Sky Sweaty Record Review, episode 147. It's the only first listen new music review show hosted by a French professor immediately after leaving the YMCA. Now, I'm going to be adjusting the camera here. As you may be able to tell, I have not just left the YMCA. Uh, fans of the show will know that I've been on a break, I've been on a hiatus, because I've got married, and I'm on a honeymoon with my family, and I'm in beautiful Serbia. Amazingly, and I'll show you this at the end of the video, the camera is actually on top of an old decommissioned tank. And right next to the tank is a whole bunch of hornet's nests. <laughs> like, there's these little holes and these hornets keep going in. So if I, if I look over to the side, it's because of the hornets. At the end, I'll just slap an H on there. That way we'll know it's for hornets. But what I wanted to do today, instead of getting to the new music, and I'm gonna get to that next week, right? I'm gonna catch up on all the old music I, you know, I haven't listened to for the last couple weeks. Um, but what I want to do is give you a primer like, you know, if you're wondering, is there any good Serbian music? I wanted to provide a service to you, one place to start, like the beginning of a whole bunch of great music, where I think if you're in line with my musical tastes at all, you will be very thankful. And you know, I don't speak Serbian, I speak French, so if I talk to you about French music, it might be a little bit mm, influenced by my love of language, but this is all totally foreign to me, but it's excellent. And what it is, is an album that came out in 1980 called Pocket Aranzman. I'm not going to spell it. I'll put it in the show notes. And it was a compilation that came out in 1980. It's kind of a weird year. 1980, if you don't know much about Yugoslavia, uh, it was a country that was a communist country. It was a conglomeration of multiple different ethnicities and countries put into one. And it was a communist dictator, a guy named Tito, who kept it all together. And unlike a lot of other communist dictators. He wasn't as bad as you could imagine. And he actually was fairly lenient with allowing Western culture to come in. So the music they produced was influenced from the West, but also supported in a lot of ways by the government, as you might imagine in a communist society. You, you may hear some Serbians behind me. They're looking at the tank. They don't see the hornets. So 1980 is the year this came out, and that's the year that Tito died. In a lot of ways, that's sort of the beginning of the end of Yugoslavia, because after that, a lot of the states break apart, they have civil wars, ethnic cleansing, it's a whole terrible story, although quite interesting when you come here to visit. So this sampler that came out is like the beginning of the Yugoslavian New Wave movement, or at least its, its well, placement in Serbia. And what's interesting is it was all recorded uh, in one place. And essentially there was this producer, uh, a guy wrote his name down, who don't, you don't care, Lesic, something like that. And he just gave all these young groups, these three young groups, as much time as they wanted in a studio. And you'll notice I'm not standing in front of a music studio. I looked all over the place trying to find this studio. I looked on the web, I asked my wife, I went to this record store and like asked these random dudes like, where is this place? Nobody knows. So instead I'm in this 12th century fortress, which is also pretty cool, except for all the tourists and hornets. And it's really hot. Like, it's my sweaty record review, because it's like really hot in Serbia. And now that dude's just climbing on the tank. So it was these three groups in one. And if you like my taste at all, my advice is just immediately go and listen to this record. Don't even finish this review, just have a listen to it. It has this great feel of the late 70s, early 80s, like, kind of like ska-ish, mixed in with a lot of Smiths, uh, a lot of Cure influence, um, a lot of sort of like, like rough sounding rock. It's really quite nice. A little bit of keyboard and very well layered. And the three different groups actually all represent different things at different times. So I want to kind of talk about each of them as we go along in front of this wall. I would rather be in front of the Druga Masa studio, but I can't, can't find the studio. It's right, you know, it, the, the studio where they recorded uh, Thriller is actually not marked either, but at least I could find it. Anyway, so there's three groups. I'm going to go through them. Um, through the three groups, and I'm gonna explain sort of what they are and how they place on the album. Um, if you've listened to me and, you, and you've just gone and listened to the record, you'll see what I'm saying. Like, it's very enjoyable. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go by how they are represented on the album. So it starts off with the group Charlo Acrobata. Now this is a group which is basically, a lot of it goes on the strength of its lead singer. 
uh, who was this very charismatic guy. He died within a year of Kurt Cobain, which is just a coincidence, but he has kind of a similar role in Serbian society as this like gone too soon, tortured rock star. Um, although he didn't kill himself, he died of pancreatic cancer, stomach cancer, something like that. Um, and so he would break off from this band and start another band, EKV. And like they are often, you know, cited as the best Serbian rock band. Um, and so this was like the beginning. What's nice though is that uh, the first track, Ona Se Budi, uh, which means, if I remember what my wife told me, she wakes up, uh, is a great ska style song sounds a little bit like the police a little bit like the specials but his voice and his character comes through and it's excellent After this, um, this band broke up and they formed two different groups, uh, EKV and then Disciplina, uh, which is another interesting group. And I just happened to go to a record store and I, I, I got this. So like that's this, uh, um, one second. I just scared away some Serbian kid who wanted to look at the tank. I feel kind of bad. It's okay. All right. So. Um, I just happened to pick this up at that record store, and this is actually a diss track where the member of Shalva Karbata who left is making fun of the other guy for being a sellout, the Kurt Cobain dude. So it's kind of a nice collector's piece. Anyways, so uh, that's Shalva Akrobata and maybe some of the easiest stuff to listen to, especially the first track. Um, the second band that you hear is Electric E Orgasma which means electric orgasm. And they're kind of a funny story because their tracks on here are excellent. Uh, Crocodile has this really sparse keyboard um, that has nice dynamics with actual drums and guitar. It's an excellent song and I got all excited and, and I told my wife, you know, I was like, hey, I love this band, you know, what, what happened to them? And she's like, mm -mm. It was like they went from like Aerosmith in 1973 to Aerosmith in 2001 in like one album. <laughs> like they immediately got totally lame. And so you say their name to like rock fans and like, hmm. But on this very beginning, this genesis of Serbian new wave music, they're excellent. And then finally is my favorite, Idoli, which means the idols. And they're just kind of a, a funny story because they, I don't quite understand it, but basically they were all marketing majors in, in Belgrade, I guess the university, and they figured out how to get a name and become famous before they even had a band. But fortunately their music is excellent. I think it's the best on the record. Uh, there's four tracks by them and three of them I'm gonna talk about. One is a song entirely in German which is about the way Germans are perceived of in Europe. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's very intense because it sort of sounds kind of effeminate and then at the end he's like screaming and it's quite funny. Uh, another track um, is called Majdliki. I don't know. And that's kind of like a parody of Russia. And it's actually a parody of like Russian music videos. When you see the music video, like making fun of social realism and the sort of state funded things that were made in Russia and it was so controversial that the video got banned which of course helped them out they were marketers they knew oh, you can do it buddy this hornet just cannot find the little tank hole 
You ever feel like you're a hornet who can't find his tank hole in life? Okay. And no one's ever said that on a YouTube channel, by the way. Are you a hornet who can't find his tank hole? Um, and so, uh, and then the final track that I really just cannot get enough is, is called America. And it's not actually even about America. He just says over and over again in Serbian, where is America, where is America? But really have a listen to it because it has like this guitar that goes a little bit off beat with this very steady, interesting drum beat. It has another guitar line that comes in that's really well made and very lyrical. And in general, Idoli, uh, and I have some of their solo records as well, has the kind of best, uh, the most musically inclined, best melody writing, best song writing. Um, I would say that Shadow Akrobata and then EKV is a little bit more about the charisma of the lead singer, whereas the Idoli stuff is just, uh, in, my, in my mind, the most enjoyable. So there you go. That's my can't miss, these are my notes, They're actually written on the back of wrapping paper. We had like this wedding party and all these Serbian people I don't know just handed me, handed me a bunch of cash. Not a, not a bad deal. They had interesting music there too, but I can't even begin to describe it. <laughs> Lots of accordion. Anyway, uh, so I'm also gonna put on at the end of this video, well, I'm gonna turn around the camera so you can see the tank that I'm recording in front of. Maybe you'll even see that poor hornet. I'm gonna also record a couple other things that I've been recording while I was here. You'll get to see the origin of goat um, you'll get to see me record an episode on an elliptical <laughs> in this super weird place. Um, oh, right now, I'm going to show you a picture. I'll put it over this right here. And this is of a place that's named after the lead singer of Idoli. And much like the lead singer of EKV, uh, Shalor Karbata, he died young of like some cancer. Uh, so in some ways, they really respect their musical heritage. And then in other ways, they seem to kind of forget it. I don't know. I will say that music is everywhere in Serbia, and it feels like everybody knows every word to every song. So it's not all just this terrible stuff that you maybe saw in that Vice documentary. All right, I hope that was useful. I'm sure no one's gonna watch this because who wants to learn about Serbian music? But if you did, really, really trust me. Pocket Aranjman. What does Pocket Aranjman mean again, Manja? Uh, like an arranged package. Oh, it just means arranged package. I thought it meant like an orange package because the, the cover is orange but it doesn't mean that. It means arranged package. Okay, well then, uh, until next time, uh, when I will talk about some new music, not 42-year-old music from Serbia, there's the camera. Oh, wait, check, check out the bees. Check out the tank. You see the bees? Look, there, there's the hole where that, that hornet was trying to go. We're all just hornets looking for our tank holes, aren't we? All right, there's the camera. Oh, it's also my new phone, so I don't even know where the camera is. Oh, there it is. Okay, welcome to Sky Sweaty Record Review. Uh, people often ask me, uh, who is Goat? Well, I actually found Goat's family. Some people think that Goat is my daughter. Of course, that can't be the case. So this is Goat's family. Right, right here in Serbia. Actually, Bosnia. So there's your answer. Goat is a Bosnian goat. Hi, welcome to Sky Sweaty Record Review, episode number 100. I don't know how many. It's the only first listen to new music review show hosted by a French professor on vacation in Serbia while he's riding some kind of primal elliptical. <laughs> uh, I'm currently in a Turkish run reproduction 19th century village primarily dedicated to former communist leader Joseph Braz Tito. So, uh, where are you? Post in the comments and like if you'd like me to review more songs. Like this one. <laughs>